Speaking about financial inclusion, one has to take a step back and look at the progress which Vietnam has made in the last 20 years. Coming from completely rural, uh, very poor background, what country has achieved has been nothing short of remarkable. It transformed itself into an important industrial player, uh, which is now manufacturing and exporting more and more diversified set of goods. But financial inclusion clearly uh, is the next big step. 70% of people still live in rural areas and today uh, have very scarce access uh, to financial services. Uh, what the government is doing today is in fact shaping up its vision in terms of how to uh, drive and how to measure financial inclusion. Uh, we have heard at the conference today from SBV, uh, State Bank of Vietnam, which is uh, one of the key parties uh, that are forming that vision. Uh, SBV has already announced very important targets by 2020 uh, to achieve um, much less uh, cash uh, circulation in the society. In fact, they uh, set a target for themselves to have less than 10% uh, of cash by 2020. Uh, and to have more than 70%, 75% uh, of those over 15 years old to have access to financial services. So that vision is uh, shaping up as we speak, but we see the government being very serious and very specific about that. The way City Vietnam supports financial inclusion in uh, Vietnam is in two ways. Uh, one is through City Foundation, and we have been doing that over the many years um, and that is where we partner with local NGOs, where we find the most tangible, uh, in our view, uh, in most impactful areas. Uh, a lot of that has been focused on youth um, and education, as well as microentrepreneurship. So we do drive, uh, and we have a very prominent program of microentrepreneurship awards, um, where we do select programs that we see are helping to achieve that, both for financial institutions that are offering the services, as well as for the entrepreneurs themselves. And in fact, this year we're partnering uh, with a new um, uh, microfinance um, NGO, which is promoting microentrepreneurship for women. Uh, women uh, and the role of women in Vietnamese society is very prominent. Uh, and that is where we see the next uh, level of impact. But what we're also doing as a bank, because in order to really achieve this very ambitious agenda of financial inclusion, we ultimately do need to give access uh, to much broader um, uh, population uh, to the services. Um, and our strategy to drive digital banking, um, we believe will be uh, much more uh, effective in getting access uh, to um, uh, the future customers and the future users than today through bricks and water banking. So it's really both of these uh, working in tandem uh, that we believe will help us to continue to make impact here.